Hey friends, Mick from Cut Purse Gothic coming to you from a very foggy and thematically appropriate Richmond, New South Wales. For those of you who don't know me, I am the creator of Cut Purse Gothic and if you've made it this far down the Kickstarter page, you know enough about the game uh, and I thought I'd make a little video to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about how the game came about. So I've always loved games. Uh, I've been playing video games and board games since I was a kid. I've loved how they take you to other worlds. Um, I really love learning mechanics, figuring out how they work and then smashing them together and seeing what happens. And board games have always been extra special because you get to do that with the people you love and you get to carve out some quality time, which gets harder and harder nowadays. Uh, so, um, you know, board games hold a, a special place in my heart. So, uh, but I never intended to, to, to make my own. This all kind of started as a, as a thought experiment. I was playing a bunch of games. I was watching a bunch of games on YouTube. Um, shout out to No Rolls Bard. If you haven't watched those guys, watch them. They're bloody hilarious. And I just started, you know, I just started this thought experiment, just thinking, well, what mechanics do I like best? And what would a game that smashed all of those mechanics together look like? Uh, specifically my favorite mechanics are problem solving games so things like Sudoku, um, uh, Picross, uh, Picross is great, um, you know Wordle, Nerdle, that sort of thing. Um, I really enjoy that brain bending side of things. I also love games that make you mess with your friends so things like Exploding Kittens always good for a laugh you know and I really I really love that side of things. I also really enjoy push your luck games like Diamant is a, is a good one and bluffing games as well, like Coup. So I started thinking about what mechanics I would like and specifically how those mechanics would work. And then I started introducing the theme around it because, you know, every good game needs a solid theme to tie it together. And I've always, always loved Gothic horror. Um, things like Bloodborne, uh, Arkham Horror, uh, anything Cthulhu related and if you're as old and crusty as me you might remember a PS1 game called Nightmare Creatures uh, that's what really introduced me to this stuff uh, that was my all-time favorite game so as I was refining the mechanics I actually found that the theme of gothic horror fit very very well and this little thought experiment of mine started evolving and it got to the point where I thought, you know what, I kind of owe it to myself to see if I can make this a reality because if it's half as fun in the real world as what it seems like in my head, then we might be onto something. And I'm really happy to say, after a lot of hard work and a lot of time and a lot of play testing, the reality is uh, just as much, if not more fun than I thought it was going to be, uh, especially with all of the suggestions and uh, iterations that came from the playtesting um, and my wonderful, wonderful playtesters who had many great ideas. Uh, the game has really gone from something that was a really good core uh, mechanic to something that just emphasizes that fun factor, uh, really ramps up the mess with your mates uh, aspect of it, fleshes out the world a lot more and is just a blast to play to the point where as soon as we finish a game we want to play another one. So I'm super happy with how it's turned out. So when it comes to the campaign itself, my big thing here was mitigate the risk as much as humanly possible. I do that a lot in my day-to-day -day work life, so it only felt natural to bring it to Kickstarter and to make sure that we weren't offering empty promises. So first thing, the game's done, production, uh, the, not production, the design is done, and the Kickstarter is purely for production. The other area of risk that I saw with other Kickstarters is shipping. So obviously shipping as different charges, different time frames, depending on where you live. And I didn't want to kind of leave that as a question mark hanging over everybody's heads once they pledge. So I have worked with our fulfillment center and I have made an exhaustive list of all the countries that they ship to. You'll find that down at the bottom of the Kickstarter page that has the prices for shipping both the Thief Edition and the Guildmaster Edition in Australian dollary dues and US dollars based on the most recent exchange rate. 
And it also has the shipping time there as well. So assuming that we're successful, and I really hope that we are, but assuming that we're successful, it's about gonna be about eight weeks between the campaign close and you actually receiving a copy of the game. So that accounts for about four weeks for Kickstarter and Pledge Manager to collect the pledges and shipping. And then about two weeks for production, and then you can add on average two weeks for the items to be shipped to your country. Like I said, check below on the shipping information table for costs, for more accurate costs and the shipping times. But that's pretty much it. I've tried to mitigate risk as much as humanly possible. So look, I hope that you enjoy the game as much as we do. I hope that you pledge. I hope the campaign is successful and I hope everybody has a copy and everybody has a great time with Cut Purse Gothic. As, as much fun as me and the playtesters have been having because uh, uh, it's been a blast and I want everybody, as many people as possible, to enjoy that as well. So thanks for watching and thank you for helping make this little dream of mine a reality. Cheers.